Hello, my name is Tim, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own original RC model airplane design. For the video, I will show you what I did to design the Robin, one of my latest model designs. The Robin is a four-channel electric-powered radio control model airplane. In the video, we will go from the clean sheet of paper to draw your original design sketch of an airplane, in this case the Robin show you how to draft the prototype plans and build and test fly a prototype of your design. Here is the Robin prototype right here. We'll incorporate lessons learned from that prototype build into the final version to come up with the final plan and the finished product. You'll have parametric information, everything you need to design either a smaller size radio control airplane or any size that you wish. For further information on the Robin build as well as other information on radio control model uh, aircraft please visit my website at indoorflyingmodel.com. Robin uses the electronics and motor from the E-Flight Foresight. You can see they're a pretty good match in size. Here are, is the motor, the electronics, electronic speed control, and the servos that are used from the Foresight for the Robin. Here's the initial sketch of the Robin, just on a piece of paper, sketch out the fuselage tail shape to get some idea of what you want to design. The parameters can be computed here. You start off with the wingspan, you'll get your wing cord, nose moment, everything needed to start off with a pretty good uh, RC model airplane design. With this information, I use TurboCAD to draw out the sketch of the prototype. You can see a rectangular wing and fuselage. Here the wing is being built full size over the plan with one eighth inch square balsa, followed by the fuselage, the nose. Uh, motor put in place, you can see the cutouts for the wings and the stabilizer. Uh, here's the prototype covered and ready for final assembly. And here is the final uh, Robin prototype. You can see the LiPo battery up on the front by the motor. This is the Robin prototype here, and I'd like to point out a few features. It's a very basic design for the prototype, just to make sure the um, parametric information we computed on wing size, areas, etc. worked out okay. The 20 inch wingspan, just a rectangular shape. The fuselage is a rectangular shape. The nose, nothing fancy. I just scabbed on the E Flight uh, Foresight uh, motor mount onto there. Electronics. Note also the aileron servo on top of the center of the wing. I did notice I needed to move the center gravity forward. On the final version, we'll move the aileron servos further forward, and I also added a half inch to the nose to help with the center gravity location. The other thing was I realized there was not enough strength as I built the wing on the center section, so I glued on a .03 inch carbon rod. That will be incorporated into the final version of the Robin. For the final version of the Robin, I took the profile of the F-8 Bearcat as well as the tail of the F-4 and grafted that onto the final outline. Here's a top view. You can see the prototype wing on the right, the final one on the left, a little bit increase in wingspan and taper for make it look a little bit better. Here's a finished profile top and side view of the Robin. And here is the fuselage being uh, designed. You can see the top followed by the bottom view with a little bit more structure added. Finally, the prototype and final of Robin uh, side by side. And here's a good top view of the Robin. You can see the uh, shape nose, the canopy, uh, all set for test flights. This is the final version of the Robin. Uh, differences for the prototype is the wing I added two inches to each side to go from a 20 inch to a 24 inch wingspan, just a little bit more wing area. I tapered the ailerons as well as the leading edge of the stabilizer just for aesthetic purposes. As I mentioned, we needed a little bit more forward center gravity location. I added half an inch to the nose to help with that as well as moving the aileron mounts further forward and mounting the ailerons under the wing just to make it look a little bit better. Note also that I spent a lot more time designing the engine installation. This is very, very easy to do with a CAD program because everything fits in full size and I think it looks a little bit better on the finished product. I took the 0.3 inch carbon rods, I put it underneath on the leading edge as well as the trailing edge of the wing just to strengthen that center section. Canopy bow, again just to make the airplane look better. Uh, two pieces of 1 16th inch balsa glued crosswise. The canopy um, frame, the window itself is acetate from a file folder at work and I think it adds a nice touch to the airplane. So again, I thank you for your time in this video. I encourage you with your RC model uh, design efforts. The information contained in this video with the parameters can be used on any size RC model airplane. 
go ahead and give it a try. It's really not that hard to do. Any questions, uh, visit the website, indoorflyingmodel.com, or send me an email. I'd be happy to help you out. Yep. Good.